What's going on, Paper Movie Dudes? It's Adam and Matthew. We're doing another Paper Movies vlog. We're uh, heading down to Dallas today. We're going to uh, one of the biggest half price bookstores I've ever been in. Uh, I think it's one of their headquarters. And, you know, we're just going to hang out in Dallas. We're going to get some In N Out. We're, especially him, really oh, excited yeah, about yeah, In N Out. Yeah. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, breakfast. <laughs> So if we don't come back, you know, having to go to the hospital to get our hearts checked, and you know, you know, it's it's been a good day. Because <laughs> we don't we don't have an In and Out Burger in Oklahoma, so we're gonna have to go there a couple times in Texas. Yeah, yeah, at least, and I even brought a bag to where we can like keep it warm <laughs> <laughs> on our way home. Just like, but uh, yep, we're going to uh, Half Price Books. We're gonna be. I remember this one has a novelization or movie tie-in section, so we're gonna see what we can find. But, yeah, we're doing a, a quick errand, though. We're picking up some books for uh, some of the members from uh, the Twin Sons. They do uh, Star Wars books, but they have this charity where they um, they donate uh, Star Wars book, Legends books to uh, children's hospitals and schools and around, you know, as many places as they can to make sure that kids can be able to read some Star Wars books. And, you know, whenever we get back to Oklahoma, we're going to donate them to some places. But, yeah, thought it would be kind of cool to... Uh, uh, do a nice little paper movies vlog and see uh, what kind of uh, book hauls we can get. So yeah, we'll definitely be shooting or filming once we uh, get into uh, half price books and see what we can find. So maybe we can have a contest to see who has the better book haul. I think. Uh, yeah, the challenge accepted. The challenge accepted. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I <laughs> I bought most of their books the last time. Novelization. So yeah. So inventory is pretty low then, huh? Yeah, probably. So it's probably going to be an epic search. So yeah. <laughs> But anyway, yep, we're going to, once we get to half-price books, we will start filming again, see who gets the better haul. All right, so mission one, pick up the Star Wars books, and that's what we're, uh, we've done. So, what is, what is phase two? Is it uh, in and out, or is it too early for that? I think it's too early for that. So, I think half-price books. Half-price books? Half-price books. And then in and out like five times after that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> So Adam, um, what movie novelization do you want that uh, doesn't exist? Well, there's two. Uh, one of them, uh, just to go with my collection, would be for Jaws 3. Mm. But I think out of the more recent films that came out, I think what a movie that would have uh, would have been great to have a novelization for was the Joker. Ooh, I that would have been an awesome novelization. Uh, I agree with you, 100% on the Joker. I mean, Jaws 3, yeah, that'd be cool. Even what is Jaws the Revenge is what, number 4? Yeah. Or something? So, okay, yeah, so they skipped that to make Jaws the Revenge. It's kind of an odd thing to do, right? Yeah, I think it's like one of those films where, you know, and, uh, Jaws 3 was like, there, it was like Jaws 4 was made to make Jaws 3 not happen, but... As it turned out, like, both of those films shouldn't have happened. <laughs> I mean, we get, we get cheesy 3D effects and sharks that roar like lions and everything, so... Oh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> what's... Yeah, sharks that roar like lions, that's kind of a, uh, a brilliant take on sharks. <laughs> and what's sad is it didn't start stop there, because uh, they've made several movies where the sharks roar, like, sharks do not roar. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Um... And I have a kid in the back seat who just threw a little Bucky Santa uh, figure at me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I would have to say I know this one's recent, and I we just we were talking about this on the drive down here. Is there is no Ghostbusters Afterlife novelization, and that makes me sad. Yeah. Because uh, Ghostbusters one and two they got a novelization, then there's that whole thing that happened in 2016 had a novelization. That's your favorite one, right? Oh, yeah. No. My favorite one to uh, kick around <laughs> the uh, the yard. But, man, I saw the movie once so far. I'm going to see it again soon. I, I'm, I'm going to have to. But it would have been so awesome to get a novelization. Because Ghostbusters is fun. And, you know, we want to keep novelizations alive and thriving in the bookstores. And I think a lot of people, especially the Ghostbusters fan base would be buying that up. Even if they don't read novelizations, the Ghostbusters fans are hardcore. They really are, and they're collectibles. 
uh, the, the collectors and you know the novelization would just be one of those things that these people would love to collect yeah and you know I'd, I would have bought two one to read and one to keep in pristine condition but uh, yeah Ghostbusters Afterlife definitely should have received a novelization it is calling it is calling <laughs> it's the most beautiful place I've ever seen <laughs> Oh, it's open. Oh, look, such a beautiful sight. And the place looks so cool. Now hiring. $15 an hour? And an outburger. And Adam is going to see if they're open yet. Oh, and it's open. In and out. Look at that amazingness right there. Look at that. Okay, we just had in and out. Yeah, in and out was the best. It was the best. It was the best. I'm glad we originally were gonna go half price books first. We were like, no, we'll do in and out first. Yeah, we we're. It was like a. Uh, well, yeah, let's go to the half price bookstore. It's not in and out. It's in and out burger. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, we were like, hey, let's go to the bookstore now. Okay. And then you know, it's 10:50. Maybe we should eat something first. So, luckily, Adam, he's like, there's one on the way! <laughs> and then uh, we stopped. So now, book hunt time. And then, uh, either, like I just said, we're going to, what, either celebrate our book hauls at In-N-Out, or, uh, oh, we didn't find anything. Let's mope and pout yeah, we'll at In-N-Out. We'll drown our sours. <laughs> drown Sorrows. our sorrows at in out <laughs> <laughs> That would be funny. Guys, I want that hat. All right, well, after a three-hour car ride, we are now at Half Price Books. Yeah, buddy. Oh, wow. Okay. You're good. Look at all these comics. Okay, so we just left Half Price Books. Both got something. And now, uh, I guess we're going to go to... Another half price book. Yeah, there's like two nearby, so we just found out like, oh, there's like two within like 15 minutes of here, so <laughs> we're just gonna get them all both. All right, we are at the second half price books location. We went to the probably the biggest one in this area, and we're this one seems a little small. Let's go check it out. Well, we uh, just left the other one. Didn't see a whole lot. They didn't have a movie tie-in section. It was kind of mixed in together, like uh, like they normally are. Matthew got a few ones. Oh yes, I did. But we'll go over that in a big haul, like when we expose what or show what we have. There's one more that's eight minutes away, so we're gonna hit that one, and then we're gonna go to In and Out, and then we're gonna eat more In and Out, and then we're gonna eat more In and Out, <laughs> and then I think we'll go home. But um, yep, we're gonna head that way and see what we can find. Okay, so that uh, wraps up the yeah. book hunt for today. So. Now we're gonna go find a uh, in and out. In and out. Let's uh, let's go get a burger. Okay, so on our way to In and Out, like we said, uh, we ran across another half-price bookstore. So uh, we're stopping <laughs> again. <laughs> All right, we are now leaving our fourth and final half-price books of the day. It's been fun. I got a pretty good, good haul. I actually completed a trilogy of novelizations that I've been. Um, wanting to complete because uh, I already had the third one and just needed the first two and I found the first two so I'll show that in just a minute but how was your day oh it was good there's uh, I'm happy I got a stack back there one of them I didn't expect to find I didn't even know existed of course that's the way it goes with these novelizations oh I didn't know they made this but uh, yeah funny story with one of them I uh, I got picked up two and I was like ah, I'll be fine with just this one I went and put the wrong book back on the shelf purchased the, the wrong book got out to the car <laughs> and then i looked at it and i was like oh crap i bought the wrong book so then i ran back in and uh got the other one so i got wound up with both of them anyway so yeah that's how it goes but man i got quite a bit of books and a couple of non-novelizations but um i'm excited it was a good day now we're gonna go get some in and out and then we're gonna go home but before we go to home, we go home. We're gonna get like in and out like three times. So, yeah. <laughs> let's. Yeah. And then maybe find another bookstore on the way out. I don't know. We'll see where the wind blows. I hope the wind blows to in and out. <laughs> <laughs> there it is! Oh my gosh! Turn, 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 turn! 
There's only like 10 of those we saw already. <laughs> and we ate at all of them. <laughs> all right, we are now heading back. We are about a couple hours away from our houses. So it was good. It was a good time. Um, Matthew pointed out something. We actually did a full circle of, because uh, we started off going to Bucky's, and then we went to In-N-Out, and then we went to four bookstores, <laughs> and then we went to In-N-Out again, and then we went to another Bucky's, and then now we're heading home. So it was fun. Matt, Matthew, did you have fun? It was a blast. It was, it was a good time. All that In-N-Out, all those books. I call that a good Sunday. Yeah, I'm surprised we did all this in one day. <laughs> um, yeah, it was. Uh, we got a pretty good haul. Um, like I said earlier, I collect. I completed a trilogy that I've been uh, collecting, and I only needed the first two books, and I finally completed it. And I found a couple books that weren't novelizations, but uh, but yeah, we're gonna here in a little bit. We're in the video we're going to have our uh, we're going to be doing our filming our hauls and then we'll let it we'll leave it up to you guys who had the better book haul and i guess you know just either comment down below who you think won but yeah it was a good uh, it was a good day we had a lot of fun and but what's weird was once we got to in and out the fourth time we realized there was like four other half price books is in our area and we're like ah oh, man it was we were tempted to go, but man, it was getting really tired. But um, we'll save that for next trip, right? Absolutely. And more in and out. Yeah, yeah more in and out. So if uh, dying from a heart attack, you know, doesn't kill us, then our wallets will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Either way, our wallets are going to kill us. Yeah. Like, but it was a good day. I uh, it was a lot of fun. I'm glad we got to do it. And, uh, yeah, again, in and out Lots of in and out But this is going to conclude this in and out vlog. I mean, our uh, paper movies vlog <laughs> featuring in and out <laughs> Not a sponsor, but if you want to be <laughs> I was about to say, like, if someone types in keyword in and out <laughs> It's probably going to be in this video <laughs> but, Anyway, you guys have a great one Thanks for checking out the video And well, again, once you see our book hauls, uh, comment down below. Uh, who do you think won? Uh, we haven't decided yet what the loser is uh, going to have to do. Uh, <laughs> since Matthew's the loser, we'll make him wear his In-N-Out hat <laughs> in every stream for a year. So. Okay. <laughs> anyway, you want to say anything before we sign off? Uh, hey, I've had a blast doing this. It was a lot of fun. Um, hopefully we can get another vlog, uh, vlog together like this again sometime for you guys. If not, into another state, into another city. I think it'll be, it'll be great. Yeah. It's like, yeah, bookstores around the world. It's just like, prepare, we're coming to take your novelization. It's <laughs> novelization invasion. <laughs> Alright guys, we are now back home. It was such a great time out in Dallas. Had a great time going to all those bookstores. Uh, it's great to be back home though, and it is now time to show you guys our book hauls. Starting off, we have a novel by Alan Dean Foster, screenplay by Stanford Sherman. We have Kroll. I actually bought this one a few weeks ago, but I gave it to Jeremy because he really wanted it. So, yep, Kroll, glad to have it again. It was only like $2, so not a bad deal at all. Coming up next, uh, I actually have the first novelization. Um, now a major motion picture starring Catherine Zeta-Jones and Antonio Banderas, a novelization by Scott Sienson, based on the motion picture by S motion picture screenplay, excuse me, by Roberto Orci and Alex Kurtzman, and story by Orci and Kurtzman and Ted Elliott and Terry Rossio. We have The Legend of Zorro. Like I said, I have the Mask of Zorro novelization, so I'm glad to find the sequel. Speaking of uh, sequel, this is technically a threequel. <laughs> Uh, the novel of the blockbuster hit film starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, a novel by David Hagbird, based on the screenplay by John Brincato and Michael Ferris, story by Brincato and Ferris and Teddy Serafian, we have Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. And next we have 
another film starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. We have a novel by Terry Bison based on the screenplay by Cormac Weberly and Marianne Weberly. We have The Sixth Day. Again, I think I bought this one recently, and I think Jeremy actually uh, requested this one, so uh, or the one that I bought a few weeks ago, so I'm glad to find another copy of it. Oops. Dropped one. <laughs> Next, we have, based on the major motion picture starring Freddie Prinze Jr., Saffron Burroughs, and Matthew Lillard. The novel by Peter Tellup, from the screenplay by Kevin Droney and Mike Finch, based on the characters created by Chris Roberts, we have Wing Commander. All right, these next two finish off a trilogy for me. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank Kane from Paper Movies, uh, the Paper Movies Facebook page. He actually found a copy of Back to the Future Part 3 novelization and uh, gave me a great deal on it, so thank you so much, Kane. But on this trip, uh, Matthew found this one on the shelf and uh, pointed it out for me, and I definitely got it. It was like around $10, but uh, Steven Spielberg presents a Robert... Zemeckis, uh, Zemeckis film, I'm, I prop, Zemeckis film, a novel by George Guype based on the screenplay by Robert Zemeckis, I, Zemeckis, I think is what it's called, I'm terrible with names, and Bob Gale, we have the novelization to Back to the Future. And Steven Pil Spielberg presents a Robert Zemeckis film. A novel by Craig Shaw Gardner based on the screenplay by Bob Gale. Story by Zemeckis and Bob Gale. We have Back to the Future Part 2. So got this for like two bucks. So that is going to conclude my book haul. I'm so glad to get the Back to the Future ones especially because that was on my wish list. And now I have the full trilogy. So definitely a great find for those. So excited for my find. But yeah, that's what I got. Now here's Matthew. Thanks, Adam. Um, again, I want to say thank you, too, for these three novelizations. I'm going to show everybody before we get to the Dallas pickup. Adam gave me these three. We've got The Reunion. This is a novelization by Daniel Josephs, based on the motion picture screenplay by Mike Pavone. And I've got now a major motion picture from Paramount Pictures and Marvel Studios, starring Robert Downey Jr., Gwyneth Paltrow, and Don Cheadle. Iron Man 2... It's a novel by Alexander Irvin, based on the screenplay by Justin Thoreau. And then Adam gave me uh, this one. Now a major motion picture from New Line Cinema. Robert De Niro, Edward Burns, 15 Minutes. It's a novel by Gary Goldstein, based on the screenplay by John Herzfeld. So now getting into the Texas Hall. This is the first time I'd ever seen this book in a normal mass market paperback size. I've always seen it in a taller, skinnier version, which I don't really care to pick those up because it just doesn't look right on the bookshelf. But this one, a major motion picture from Universal Pictures and DreamWorks Pictures, Cowboys and Aliens. It's a novelization by Joan D. Vinge, based on the screenplay by Roberto... Roberto Orki and Alex Kurtzman and Damon Lindov and Mark Fergus and Hawk Otsby. Screen story by Mark Fergus and Hawk Otsby and Steve o Oden Odekirk. Sorry, I'm horrible with the names too. That's a lot of weird names and that is a lot of names on that novelization. Hmm. This next one, never heard of this movie. It's now a major motion picture from New Line Cinema starring Pierce Brosnan, Salma Hayek, and Woody Harrelson, After the Sunset. It's a novel by Kevin Ryan, a Brett Ratner film, story by Paul Zibweski, a screenplay by Paul Zibweski and Craig Rosenberg. Guys, look at that name. I can't say that name. Okay? So, cut me some slack. This next one, it's the groundbreaking science fiction epic from 20th Century Fox Animation, Titan A.E. It's a novel by New York Times best-selling author Steve Perry and Dal Perry. The next one, now a major motion picture from Hollywood Pictures, Denzel Washington and Gene Hackman, Danger Runs Deep, and Crimson Tide. It's a novel by Richard P. Henrik, based on the screenplay by Michael Skiffer, from a story by Richard P. Henrik and Michael Skiffer. Crimson Tide. Down to the last two. Now a major motion picture from 20th Century Fox. Jim Carrey, 
Me, Myself, and Irene. It's a film by the Farley Brothers, a novel by David Jacobs based on the screenplay by Peter Farley and Mike Carone and Bobby Farley. And the final book in the Texas Hall, Return to Oz. It's a novel by Joan D. Vinge, which didn't we see that one, that name in here earlier, didn't we? Yeah, Cowboys and Aliens. Wow. Um, yeah, novel by Joan D. Vinge, based on the screenplay by Walter Murch and Gil Dennis. Has eight pages of fabulous color photos from the movie. Now a major motion picture from Walt Disney Pictures. So the Texas trip was incredible. I'm so glad we did that. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad we filmed it to make a video for you guys to you know, ride along with us. Uh, we actually took my seven-year-old son, and he picked up some Captain Underpants books and a Pokemon book. So we, we all had a great time. Hope you enjoyed watching this. Comment down below who had the best haul from Texas. Guys, thanks for watching.